Hello, my name is Gregory Springer, and I first want to apologize for not being able to present as intended at the School of Individualized Study, SOIS, Capstone Symposium on the Rochester Institute of Technology, RIT, campus. My capstone focused on the disabilities and assessment of accommodations on the RIT campus for students. My presentation started with an open-ended question that allowed users to depict what are some positive and negative aspects of a photo. This photo was of a parking spot located within a Rivernal parking lot. The image had good qualities such as marked off lanes, disabled parking signs, the international symbol of access, and more. Now, the photo also shows the lack of an accessible route from the parking lot onto the sidewalk, as well as that there is a car parked to the immediate left of this vacant spot. This photo, along with other photos that showcase inaccessibility on the RIT's campus circa August 2023, can be found by this QR code as shown. Now, I am more than happy to discuss and review the photos taken and describe the inaccessibility in each of them on the RIT's campus if you are interested. I also provided a list of definitions that review the following. Disability, accessibility, barrier, accommodation, the Americans with Disability Act, or ADA, and the Architectural Barriers Act, or ABA. A component of my capstone surrounded the completion of a survey as well. The survey was completed anonymously as no personal information was to be collected. In addition, all questions were optional and participants could pick and choose sections section or sections that they wished to answer. The survey was made up of six sections and they are as follows. Demographics, accessibility of the RT campus, accommodations of the RIT campus, daily life on the RIT campus, a hypothetical establishment of space, and a conclusion section. As for the survey, 10 students completed the survey with an average opinion stating that 63% of the RIT campus is accessible. One quote taken away from the survey stated that, navigating disability on an able-bodied campus has been the largest accessibility barrier. I hope that with my survey results and the conclusion of my capstone, I'll be able to share my results with those who wish to review. Again, any personal information included will be voided to protect the identities of participants who participated in my survey. Thank you for your time and your consideration.